Welcome to Adventures by D. It's a special vlog today from opening weekend at Six Flags over Georgia. 2023. Chris, what's today's vlog gonna be about? So Dave is giving you a beginner's guide to Six Flags. The food. The menus and an overview of the counter service restaurants at Six Flags over Georgia. If you like this content, please subscribe to our channel. We cover Six Flags over Georgia all throughout the year. We're local to the Atlanta area, and we also cover stuff in and around Atlanta and theme parks. So let Dave know if you found some of these tips helpful, or if there's anything else you'd like to see or learn about Six Flags over Georgia. Join us on this 2023 Six Flags adventure. There are, I think, test my... Dave, test my knowledge, but I think there's six main eateries at Six Flags Over Georgia. And when I say main eateries, meaning you go up to the counter and you order, and then you bring your food and you're able to sit down somewhere in the location. So let's see if I have this. So there is DJ's Diner. Let's get a burger and some fries and see how it is. Here at DJ's Diner, right under Goliath, before you make the turn down to, uh, Gotham City down the hill. It is right here. Let's try out DJ's. So I'm inside DJ's. They actually have a fuel fuel rod station right here. Nice. So we're here in DJ's. I don't know if we're gonna get the chicken salad. Excuse me, the deluxe chicken sandwich. I may get that. Just a meal combo. I got the fried chicken deluxe sandwich. Came with pickles, lettuce, and tomato. I'm gonna put some mayo and maybe some ketchup on it. Came with fries on the side. It was um, right at $16. There it is. And then fries are pretty standard. It was pretty good. Get a close up here. Pretty much your standard fried chicken sandwich. Lettuce, tomato, a little mayo, a little ketchup. It's good. There is Macho Nacho. Macho Nacho. Welcome in. Very quiet. So you can get a burrito or a burrito bowl or nachos. That's kind of it. Choice of chicken or beef. JB Sports Bar. All right, let's see what's in JB Sports Bar and, and Grill. One thing that Dave likes about JB's, if I can be honest, is Dave loves that over on the outside they have a bar. So if you're 21, they'll pour you some beers. They have some beers on draft. So I think that's probably why this is Dave's favorite location. There are some other locations in the park where you can get beer, canned beer, but this is the one where the draft is. Well, it's a large outdoor. They have, you see the NASCAR race out there. They have a um, some fans going. You can see a good part of the park from here. It's centrally located. And they have beer on tap, yes. Yeah. We're inside JB Sports Bar. So inside, there's a counter service area. 
it's usually a very long line. You want to come here earlier in the day if you want to get food if it's so wait too usually long. But they have burger combos. Looks like they have a buffalo blue burger that might be new this year, I'm noticing. But usually you can get burgers, wings, chicken sandwich. There's a salad in here and loaded fries. So the difference between this one and like Lick Skillet, Lick Skillet has some barbecue options. But very, very similar food between the two. And then this has the added benefit of outside there is a bar if you'd like some draft beer. You see a sign over here saying it's Miller time. But this gives you an idea of the food offerings at JV's. But my tip for you is we do come here often, the line is long and it does take a while to get through. Strutters. Strutters has some new meals this year. They have an orange chicken bowl and an island chicken bowl. And they have wings and some awesome wing sauces. From plain to some serious strut. So the bowl can be a combo, you can add a drink. And Johnny Rockets. Here is Johnny Rockets. Should we look inside? Yeah, we'll go pee. I'm gonna guess they have burgers and fries and maybe milkshakes. What do you think? Whoa! Although I don't know if they have milkshakes. Free South Sea. We have a whole video on how to mobile order food, by the way. Check that out. Thank you. Yum. Now we're inside Johnny Rockets, and they have onion rings, fries, chocolate or vanilla milkshakes. They can get a rocket double, a single, an impossible burger, and chicken strips. So it looks like making a meal a combo, adding a regular juice for $3.99. There you go. Face it. But if you the Impossible Burger, you can you think of another one? The Miner House. The Miner House, so there's seven. Here's Miner's Cookhouse. Here's where you can order Miner's burgers, pork sandwich, chicken strips. <laughs> Beginner's Guide, we hope you learned a lot. Yes, and a uh, beautiful day. It's nice to come in the spring because the heat isn't out and the crowds aren't quite here. You want to get here early for Six Flags if you can when they open or before so you can get on a couple of these coasters first. And then also eat early, eat at off times. The lines do build for food and they do have mobile order so I would definitely suggest that. So Chris, if they enjoy this Beginner's Guide, what should they do? <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel. We cover all sorts of things around Six Flags Over Georgia all throughout the year. So I'm sure we'll be back for their Brews and Bites uh, Festival. It's fun. You get to sample a bunch of different ciders and beers and sour beers and coolers and stuff like that if you're of age. Um, and we cover their Fright Fest, Halloween. We come to Holiday in the Park in the summer. Um, so we'll show it to you throughout the year. And we do things in and around Atlanta, so consider joining us. 
Um, we love theme parks, so we have family friendly adventures is what you'll find on this channel. Chris, until the next adventure, may, may the adventures be with, with you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ringing the bell so you'll be notified of our next upload. And as always, may the adventures be with you.